We're told that film is a visual story, and for the most part that's true, but music and sound have a massive impact on the emotion in a scene. Music has the power to completely change how an audience interprets what they're watching. Take this scene from The Shining. The high-pitched music makes the audience believe something horrible is about to happen. It makes us scared to look at the screen. Without the music, we wouldn't have a reason to worry about what comes next. Many movies use music to help the audience understand what's happening. This scene from Creed follows this idea. The music tells us that the character is rising, working hard to achieve his goals. He's moving in the right direction to be a champion. But what if we change the music? Now it seems as if he has chosen the wrong path, or he is running from something, or that those around him are here to stop him. Music can even change how we interpret the expressions on characters' faces. This is the beginning of the romance between Mr. Darcy and Elizabeth Bennet. All of the other dancers seemingly disappear instantaneously as they dance together. They focus only on each other. But if you change the music, the face she makes here has a completely different meaning with the new music, almost like fear or dread instead of intrigue or infatuation. It's very uncomfortable, as if someone is forcing them to dance or if he is trapping her. But some movies decide not to rely on music at all to convey emotion. That's not to say they don't use sound, they do, just not music. No Country for Old Men does this throughout the film. Do you have any idea how crazy you are? You mean the nature of this conversation? I mean the nature of you. The room is quiet. Tension between characters is palpable even without any music. You gonna have the money, Anton? The phone ringing doesn't diffuse the tension. If anything, it heightens it. The story definitely relied on sound, just not any music. This is a brilliant example of using sound to enhance a visual story. But sometimes it isn't done so well. Jack Reacher uses music a lot, but it's noticeably missing from two main parts the car chase, and the final fight. It felt like the director wanted to remove the music to avoid making the scenes feel too much like the usual Hollywood blockbuster. The car chase scene is supposed to feel fast paced, but it doesn't. The engines of the cars and the sirens were supposed to be the substitute for music, but I don't think it worked. The scene ends up feeling flat and boring soon after it begins. The Paris car chase from Born Identity has music consistently throughout the scene, but it's in the background. The fast-paced music doesn't distract the audience from what is happening, it just adds to the intensity. In the final showdown of Jack Reacher, there is music right up to the beginning of the fight. then just the sound of the rain. And the fight that takes place seems slow and drawn out. I've seen this exact scene a million times at this point. This one just didn't have any music. The Born Identity uses music in the opposite way. It's quiet as Jason checks his apartment. What is it? But when the assassin comes in... Something wrong? music plays. At first it's almost imperceptible, but it's there, and it helps keep up the energy of the scene.
There are some action sequences that don't rely on music at all to keep the energy. And the film that does this best is Saving Private Ryan. The Omaha Beach scene is one of the most iconic scenes in film history. No music, no added Hollywood sound effects, just the brutal reality of war. Spielberg did a great job of making the battle sound real while keeping the sound dynamic to make sure the audience didn't get bored. The scene starts with the soldiers in the boat. It's calm and quiet. Then the front is open and the sound of gunfire and bullets hitting flesh is heard. This begins the chaos. But then we shift to see an underwater view of what is happening. It's quiet again as soldiers drown, pulled down by their gear. Then we resurface back into the confusion. This scene looks and sounds completely real. And that's what makes it so amazing. It's a moment of history, captured as purely as possible. And we will never forget what that sounded like. Thanks for watching.